major issue for married pregnant women in Missouri. If they want a divorce, a judge will not grant it to them. The state's law requires women to disclose that information. In addition to being trapped in a marriage they no longer want to be in, there are also concerns on how this could perpetuate domestic violence. Joining me to talk about it tonight, we have mental health counselor Ashantia Wolf and divorce attorney Lenise Lewis. Glad to have you here on The Factor. Lenise, how is this still on the books in 2024? So in Texas, I can tell you that the court has jurisdiction over children that are born of the marriage. They have to be included in the divorce. So similar to Missouri, if a child is born, if the mother is pregnant, the wife is pregnant, the divorce cannot be granted until the child is born because that child must be included in the divorce. How fair is that from your perspective? As mm -hmm. Fair, I, I don't know that it's necessarily fair, but I, I would say that the difference for us here is that we have different remedies. So we have protective orders that can be put in place even while the divorce is pending. We have temporary orders that can be put in place while the divorce is pending. So we, the while the wife is not able to divorce the husband, there are remedies and there are ways that she can be separated from that person. So here in Texas, the rule the same, you can't be divorced while you're pregnant? You will not get the divorce. One of the questions that the judge asked and that you have to answer is whether or not the um, wife is currently pregnant. And if the answer to that is yes, then it doesn't matter if the parties agree on the terms of the divorce, it cannot be granted. So is that antiquated to you? I mean, oh, completely, because we have data now that shows these implications of risk during pregnancy. We put a woman in this situation who's pregnant, she's increased risk of anxiety, symptoms of depression, high stress, and we know that anxiety is, during pregnancy is linked to a shorter gestation period mm -hmm. and adverse implications for fetal neurodevelopment. So we're not just talking about one simple thing, we're talking about a lifespan of uh, implications and issues. And, and Lenise, for you, from your perspective, obviously you're <laughs> in, in my opinion waffling here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it, okay. But if a woman is pregnant in Texas or anywhere, mm -hmm. how likely is she to move forward with a divorce in that state? Is it rare or is it, it nine times out of ten she can move, she'll move forward with it, but I will tell you that because we advise clients, most attorneys will tell the client you're not going to be able to get your divorce finalized until you have the baby. Um, they may wait. They may just postpone even filing for the divorce until the child is born. Mm -hmm. So nine times out of ten, if they get that legal advice, they won't do it. Right. And then, you know, Isaiah, that, that brings up another issue because if they don't do it then, then there's a chance that they might not do, do it, it at all. After, uh -huh. even after they do have the baby. And what's yeah. the danger of that from your perspective if they don't do it because they are, uh, they don't get divorced because they're, they're pregnant and then they wait? Could they be talked into staying into a relationship Absolutely. that they really don't want? Absolutely, and prolong any of these symptoms that occur during pregnancy. We know perinatal depression lasts after childbirth. So not only are we putting the mother at risk, we're putting the child at risk as well. All right. Well, Lenise, we want to thank you and Ashantia for joining us here on The Factor. Where can we find you guys on social media really quick? Because I'm sure people have more answers and more questions about this. Instagram at Attorney Parker Lewis.